Welcome to the day in sunny Buenos Aires. I'm outside a cafe a bar called Vodagan del Vicho. Now I'm going to check out the Argentinos Juniors game and I recommend before if you go if you come to Argentinos Juniors come to this place. It's literally a stone throw away from the actual stadium. Good people, good food, good yeah. beer. A real real cool vibe yeah. and it's such a friendly area. I'd say you will love it here. Vodagan del Vicho. Mark that in your diary. There's the man, and as you can see in the bar, all adjourned on the walls. There's loads of Argentinos Juniors shirts. Yeah, Fanaticos Argentinos Juniors. As you can see, there's Maradona on the side of the walls all around the stadium. I just tried to enter, but these guys said so I've got to go around the back. But yeah, he's all around the stadium. The man. Let's get in there. Walk into the stadium now. Got an Argentina Juniors shop there, selling all the shirts, food, places. This is a Maradona inspired food place. There you go, the ETN. I don't know what that is. Looks like Peter Schultz, the new goalkeeper, jumped up with Maradona in the 86 World Cup to me. But we won't talk about that. Here you got Maradona and his family. Yeah, all around the stadium, they get Maradona. Is Maradona adjourned all over the walls? Vianda. Right, so I'm in the stadium, we just got in. It's a nightmare, I was supposed to be sitting over that stand over there, but politics, they say it's closed. But you get a bird's eye view of this here. The fans are well up for it. Absolutely packed out here, you can see all the smoke here. Great Argentine atmosphere. I've just been told by the security guard I need to take a place, so i to get me out to sit down. The home of Maradona. Looking forward to this one. Over that section over there, the far left, you've got the ultras. They're making a noise, got a brass band over there. So the air is filled with red smoke. Ah, no, yeah. It's really cool to be here. The pits at Maradona Grace. Yeah, those guys over there making a right racket. Passionate Argentinian fans. Two minutes gone, already a chance. Come on, Argentinos Juniors.
I've got to say, there's a kid in a, well, I think he's on the wing or up front, called Jose Maria Herrera Ares, I think his name is. He scored a goal against Newell's Old Boys of the Week. Absolute quality goal. Go and check that out on YouTube. Absolute, like a 30 yard at the top corner, the goalkeeper had never even moved. Um, he set up the first goal as well. He brushed off the fullback, nice bit of skill, sets up the centre forward. He's 21, I'm telling you, if he keeps on doing the magic that he's done the other week against Newell's Old Boys, he's going to get a move, definitely. Top quality player. Okay, he's part of the match, 10 minutes gone. The crowd at Artis Juniors, they see for Diego. That's always like a tradition here, so 10 minutes in, people see for Diego. action in this game, two coming just hit the post, that's about it. Pretty flat to be fair. Well what could take out that first half? Not much to be fair. I've got to say the game is pretty flat. Also you can see behind me that's a stand that I should have been sitting but I said earlier the post it for politics reasons and for that reason I can't see the ultras which is to my uh, far left. It would have been good to see the ultras, they've been you know, very busy, you can't see that because say, I should have been sitting over there. But yeah, this first half, very, very flat. Okay, I just uh, just hit the bar, uh, but that's about it. Um, see what the second half brings. But also, I'm going to another game after this, which starts at nine o'clock. So it's about 10 minutes away in a place called Villa Crespo, which is called uh, Club Atletico Atalanta, which is division two. I've got to be honest with you, the difference of standard between Division 2 and the Premier Argentinian League is not much difference at all. What it seems to me is like uh, Argentinian clubs, once they get a prize like 18, 19, 20, if any good, has got a bit of magic, a bit of skill, it goes to Europe. So, pretty much the standard here, I'm very disappointed, I'll be honest with you. It's not as good as I thought it would be. So, the glory days when Maradona was here, Boca Juniors and all the Argentinian Juniors, it's not as good as then, uh, because like I say, all the good players, they go to Europe. But yeah, if the second half is flat, then I'm gonna get a cherry pan, and then I'm gonna go to the game after. So two games in one night. Let's see what the second half brings. Okay, I've got a high vantage point for the second half, the highest in the ground. See if we get a good viewpoint from here. Wigan. Okay, I think that's me doing it. I think I could play for another 20 years. I don't think they'll score. So on to the next club, Club Atletico Aslanza. Let's check it out. Okay, so I'm outside Atlanta now. It was a mad dash across town. There was no Ubers, but I'm here now, five minutes into the game. I was here last week. I've got to tell you, it's absolutely rocking here. So let's see what it brings tonight. Club Atletico Atlanta are playing San Telmo. I think San Telmo at the top of the second division, so this should be a good game. Hopefully there's going to be goals in it. We'll see.
good chance there for Asselin to have 30 gone. Atlanta, but a time header. This crowd won a goal.
Okay, I've just arrived back at the Airbnb. Uh, I've got to say, I'm absolutely shattered. That's two games in one night that I've took in. It was just such uh, a rush around, getting to different stadiums. And yeah, I'm just absolutely, yeah, shot, spent. So, but what's my opinion on Argentinian football? I've got to say, as a tourist, um, you'll have no problems. Uh, I think, well, depends on where you are in the um, okay areas. Say if you use the, the, the south, far south of Buenos Aires, if there's a club there, I don't know about there, but I'm talking about more so towards Palermo, Villa Crespo, um, you know, these kind of clubs, uh, you'll be fine. Um, but yeah, standard wise, I think, like I said earlier, I think the standard, I think that they've sold a lot of players, uh, the clubs, you know, when players um, are good enough at a young age, that's it, they, they get rid of them quick to European clubs. So I think then the league struggles a little bit really in that respect. So basically, um, yeah, the standard is not very good, I don't think, because of that. Uh, also, they're not spending money. Uh, I've got a Brazilian friend, he said the Brazilians are kind of spending money, they've got other... Uh, outside interest, uh, like European clubs. So, I mean, there's, there's three Brazilian clubs in the Copa Libertadores uh, this year in the semi finals, so that speaks for itself. But yeah, I mean, I mean Boca uh, River, they're the biggest clubs in Buenos Aires, but Boca are really struggling. I think they're about 11th at the moment this time, this video. And I've got to say, looking at the first division, Argentinian, and the second division, there isn't any difference for me. Um, I've watched Colombian football and I've had people say to me Argentinian is better um, I, do, I disagree personally uh, I've seen better standard in Colombia and I've also seen a better stand in Serbia and I'll stand by that um, yeah I just think um, it seems like the, the young players are uh, shipped out pretty quick here so yeah would it improve uh, hopefully um but yeah it's not like the heady days of maradona at the moment that's my honest assessment um yeah I, i'm not very impressed with the stand at all but uh saying that the the experience and the people that i've met around uh the well the stadium today in argentina's juniors go and check out the uh cafe there they're absolutely legendary people i love that cafe and the experience in total you have to go and uh, see the actual uh, game, you know, as, as a tourist, go and see it for yourself. And, you know, maybe you'll see some more goals than I did. But, uh, you know, we had two at Atletico at Atlanta, but zero at Argentinas Juniors. That, that sometimes happens. But, yeah, it's uh, it's well worth a look. See what you think. But, yeah, if you go to Argentinas Juniors, check out that calf. I love that place. Right, that's me signing off. Going to get some sleep now. I'll see you guys in the next one later.